possibly believe me. But what I'm about to tell you is true. 100% true. Everything started the day before my mom got married. Honey! That day I had on Ellie. Mommy's mind pending. Ellie! Bananas. Ellie! What? Hi, sweetie. This is my mother. Hi there. Oh, you look adorable. See, she made an effort. She looks nice. You could do that. I'm in the middle of a story. I know, I'm being supportive. Could you do that somewhere else? What if you started by introducing the family? I'm getting there. It's my story. She used to be so sweet. Mom. Fine. I'm going. Good. Anyway, it was the second Friday in April, and every morning is usually pretty chaotic in our family, but this morning was even crazier than... Mom, what are you doing? I want people to be able to see her pretty face. She hides her face. Ugh, Mom, give me my beanie back. That morning, she was really up in my grill. Just one day, that's all I need. Just a day without her nagging. Just one day, I beg, I plead. But the drag just keeps on dragging. All I wish for just one Monday or Friday to be free. Free to slouch and soak and mumble and be messy and be me. All I ask is for 12 hours to live my life my way. Just one simple, awesome, crazy, epic day. Mom, Mom, I need to ask you something. Honey, I need you to hold that thought. The florist is outside making the arch of roses. Tori, no, not roses, peonies, ranunculus, fix that. Gray aprons okay? Yes, but not the short ones. I've got the halibut. Where do you want the cooler? Tori, focus. The fish. Ellie, didn't you wear that shirt yesterday? It hasn't been improved with time. I wish you'd change. Yeah, please change. One more day, she's on my back. She's been riding me forever. My faults and all I lack and all I uh, whatever. And tonight is the rehearsal And there is no room for error I mean, not one flaw We've got guests in just 12 hours Dress the table, trim the flowers I want beauty and perfection I want total awe Who's magazine here for? A feature on the scene here The business is depending on this one success Now breathe, but thank you, Tori And in fact, that is the story So get moving, move this process And remove this mess You heard her! Move! Just one day, it's all Angry Bob wants to hold the hourglass. Angry Bob can shut it. Weirdo. Ellie, just put it down. I brought donuts. Yay! And coffee for the ride. Morning, Ellie. Yeah. Fletcher, up top. Have you practiced your Wayne toast yet? This man's toast's gonna kill. And then straight to Hollywood. Mom, seriously, I need to ask you something important. Mom, seriously, I need to ask you something important. Mother, Fletcher is puppeting me again. Stop yelling. One more day, she'll fight and fuss when her joy is all I'm after. It's been a long time for us, now it's time to hear some laughter. Cause I only want her happy and well punctual and clean. But she mumbles and she grumbles and at times she's outright mean. She's bright and so insightful but those traits aren't on display. How's my girl? Mom, you're here early. I can't check into the hotel yet, so I thought I'd stop here to help. Oh, great. So I'll just go find something to eat. 
Hey, no, Gretchen! Oh, we can leave in just one sec. Did you ask her mom about the hunt? Ask me what? There's a thing tonight. Tonight? As in the rehearsal dinner that is being photographed for Weddings Magazine that tonight? Oh, uh, Mrs. Blake, Grally, Gretchen and me, we formed a team to do a launch. Oh, no. I know about the hunt. Kids run around all night taking pictures of themselves doing crazy, dangerous things. It is unsafe, and it scares me to death. My mom said it was okay. You're Swedish. Everything's okay. Okay, really fast. Tonight is the hunt. It's an epic scavenger hunt. Every year there's a new list of impossible things to do and crazy things to find. And every year there's a new list master. This year, the list master is Adam. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> anyway, the hunt has been happening at my high school since forever. It's the mother of all scavenger hunts. It's so much fun! And I really want to win. There's just one issue. Just one day, that's all I seek. And I have been asking nicely. Just one day, it's not a week. It's a night to speak precisely. Be someone who would something, not just what's her name. If I'm in it, I can win it. If she'd only say okay, we'd be up and running, gunning, but run, run, it's perfect day. Hey, wait, 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 Know that apron is a crime and that sea bass isn't fresh. It's three days dead. Mom, I really need to know if I can wait now where she go. Oh, I'll never draw her focus from the brain. It's a million Mom, little things little from the wrestling to the ring. But I got this because I live to work this way. What a day. What a day. What a day. I'm sorry, the answer is no. Shut up. Ellie, don't tell your brother to shut up. You suck, Fletcher. Ellie! Go to class without me, I'm gonna stay and convince her. Bam, we'll do the hunt. Mom. Mom. Tori, these pears aren't even close to right. Mom, forget about the stupid pears for one second. Elle, maybe give your mom a break. Could you maybe stop pretending like you're my dad? Cause you're not. Harsh. Ellie, apologize now. No, it's okay. I can tell this family is a this little- This family? I see a lady, her boyfriend, and a weirdo with a puppet for a friend. My name's Angry Bob. That's enough. You're not a weirdo. Can you take him to school? Yeah. Come on, Fletch. 11.30 and we'll head on back to the ceremony. Yes. I hate you. Excuse me? I hate you. I hate your attitude. I don't need to live all large. I just like to be in charge of the things I do and eat and how I dress. Ellie, dear, I wish you knew all the work I have to do just to keep you in your munchies and your mess. If you knew what I go through, watch a day in grown up shoes, you would see all of the reasons why I can't say yes. If you knew what I go through, how intelligently unfair. Oh, I'd love to be in school, have a day without a care. How I wish you'd understand.
You are my mom. How did you get in my body? How did you get in mine? I'm in yours? Oh. Ah, this sucks. I don't understand this. It's just a really weird dream. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Whoa. I pull it, and it just stays there. Stop that. Mom. Mom, maybe we're tripping. Someone slipped us a drug. Fletcher! Your brother did not drug us. Oh, well, well, we're sick. I'm calling 911. Wait, no, stop. If we go to the hospital right now and say we switched bodies, we'll be locked in a psych ward and medicated until someone came and wrote a book about us. No hospitals. No doctors. No way. We've got to figure this out on our own. But if we aren't going to the hospital, what are we going to do? I'm freaking out. Ellie, listen to me. We are going to fix this. We are not going to freak out, okay? Okay. Okay. The wedding is tomorrow. <laughs> is that really necessary? Yes! This is the worst day of my life. You are the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Young lady, watch your tone. You don't like it? It's your tone. Be more positive. Get the hair out of your face. Put down that hourglass. The, the hourglass. hourglass. <gasps> we totally broke a magic hourglass. Honey, I highly doubt we were holding a magic hourglass. It's, it's magic. magic. This is a mess. Mom. Mom, there were two. Dad gave those to us. One for you and one for me. We just need to get yours and we can switch back. Where did you put it? What? I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? I sold it. You sold it? When? Uh, a week or two ago. But those are from Dad. Dad gave those to us. You want to forget everything about him? No, we, we needed the money. What? Things have been tight financially. I sold it to an old antique store in Wicker Park, uh, secondhand most. The store opens at one. We just have to go there, get the hourglass, and switch back. All we have to do is get through the morning. They're here, the writer and slash photographer from Weddings Magazine. Catherine Blake, finally. I meet the woman who's the bride to organize her own wedding. <laughs> Oh, Catherine, I, I know you wanted to show them your first concept sketches. Did you see the yard? Tori, Tori show her the backyard. Just go, just go. Yeah. Do that, the backyard's awesome. Ellie, that's Weddings Magazine. I need this story. We're talking a cover story that can make or break my business. Until we figure out how to switch back, I need you to be me for the day. I know it's hard, but I can help you. Yeah, I have school. And you can miss school for today. Well, actually, no, I can't. Why? If I have one more unexcused absence, I'll fail 11th grade. Fail? When were you going to tell me this? At the mandatory parent-teacher conference meeting today. How could you be so irresponsible? I don't know. I guess you'll find out at the conference. <sighs> OK, we, we need a plan. You have to stay here for the interview, so I'll go to your school. <laughs> there is no way you can handle a day at my school. Ellie, please. You don't know how to talk. You don't know how to act. You're going to be weird, and people will think I'm weird, and it'll last forever. I'm not listening because you are being ridiculous. Now, you listen to me. There is going to be an interview. It is essential that you be polite and charming. Right, because that's so you. And not snarky. Do not be mean to Mike. <sighs> this is so lame. Uh, no carbs, don't even think about it, focus. On what? One, get interviewed. Two, get my picture taken. What a rough life. Honey, being a working parent is in fact extremely difficult. Comparatively, your life is simple. My life is complicated and tiring and hard. You go to school, you come home, easy. You make party food and go to the party. Wow. Don't worry about me. I'm good. I got this. I got this. I know what to do for me to be you. I got this. I'll bake stuff. I can fake like I make stuff like you. I'll have a laugh, have my coffee, half cap, and then yell at the staff on your behalf. I got this. 
Yeah, I got this. Put a stick up my butt, be quick to say, what? That, not this. I'm perfection. I don't need your direction at all. Call me a slob or a slackerish blob. I can act like a snob and fool that mob. I got this like it's my job. Good. You can see what it means to actually have a job. I'll go to school. Ah, not wearing that. Mom, mom, swear to me, you will keep your head down. Don't look at anyone, don't talk to anyone, and don't embarrass me. I know it's hard to believe, honey, but I went through high school, and I came out just fine. I got this. Yeah, I got this. Do my hair with some care, I'll primp and prepare. I got this. I'm delighted. It's not right, you're excited. up online at nine and then the hunt's for real don't smooze for clues cause i'll refuse i only do what's right cause i'm list master adam and my word is law tonight his word is law tonight tonight's the night Hannah Parker Wells. Hey, Ellie. Ellie. Uh, good morning. <laughs> what sandwich did your mom make today? Um, I made, my mom made ham chutney and shallots on a brioche. <laughs> oh, 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 do you want it? You know it. Mmm, mmm, amazing. Catch you later. I give him my lunch every day. Oh yeah, like you're feeding a unicorn. Um, Hannah, I don't like him. Do I? No. <sighs> you love him. Oh, <laughs> oh man, Savannah. Ellie Blake. Ah uh, yes. I heard something funny. Ellie Blake, I heard someone say you said you thought you could win the hunt this year. <laughs> It's obvious you're at the top of the social hierarchy here. Uh, kudos, but there's been a misunderstanding. You better believe it. Savannah. Savannah. She's our boss, Savannah. I'm talking the top. 
Ellie Blake or Sabi right now? I don't know. Here's the fridge. Keeps the food cold. The plates. Napkins. The things. You get spatulas. Bunch of spatulas. Where'd you learn to cook? Um, she went to the CIA. Yeah, I'm a spy. The Culinary Institute of America. Food spy. <laughs> so, as a working mom, and not to mention bride-to-be, how do you manage your work-life balance? I ignore my kids. <gasps> Just kidding. Catherine plans everything with military precision. She makes a plan and we go to war. Weddings are war! Okay, what inspired you to do everything for your own wedding? Obviously, I'm crazy. Tell you an industry secret, all brides are a little crazy. Oh, it's not because I'm a bride, it's me. I love bossing people around, right, Tori? <laughs> what makes Catherine's work so special is her attention to every detail. You have to see the cake. Cake? Your wedding cake. I'll go get it. Your fiance's name is Mike? Uh-huh. Your assistant told me that you and Mike met when he was refinishing your kitchen cabinets. It's adorable. Is it? Ta-da! I made that! I made that. Bam! Spectacular! <laughs> right? Is that fondant or ganache, Tori? Ganache. Ganache. A lot of ganache. Tell me more. It, it tastes really good. Catherine, if I'm going to do a Weddings Magazine cover story, I'm going to need to know the woman behind the bride, behind the wedding. Yeah, right. Who is the real Catherine Blake? I'm uptight and neurotic. I crave complete control. But baby, I do magic with just a mixing bowl. I somehow stay this skinny while baking giant cakes. I guess that's just my jam. Jam, that's who I am. I do, you do, what it takes you do, what you got, yeah, what you got. I'm good at all the cooking, and I'm pretty good looking, right? Tell me that I'm not. I'm one annoying human, but give me saving cumin. I'm one hot shot. You bake your cake with what you got. I'm the kind of bride that likes a fun party, and this? This is a killer cake, thanks to you. Thanks to me, it's your cake, your recipe. Now Tori here gets nervous. I snap and Tori freaks. Look at her meringue, they're the perfect little peaks. She acts like I'm the boss. We both know it's not true. I dictate like a jerk. She somehow makes it work. I do? You do. Yes, I do! Cause that's what you got! It's what you got! A rabbit like reflexes are key to our successes. We keep this kitchen hot. If I get all the glory, the credit goes to Tori. Cause I do squat. You bake that cake with what you got! What you got! What I got! The cake's the best we'll get. Ooh. I'm cold and I'm withholding. Now put that in your book. But give this girl a knife and hold on board your life because she can cook. Yeah, she can cook. You, 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 you what you got. Yeah, what you got. She's preaching me to hear it. I'm loving her for spirit. Right, that's what I thought. My neurosis and Throw it in the pot You make it work with what you got
What a treat. What a wondrous occasion to have you in biology today. You know, they did a study on sarcasm in the classroom, and it's actually the least effective way to communicate. Really? How interesting. What did your mom say about the hunt? My mom, oh, oh, she said no, I can't do the hunt. Well, how can you drop out? My mother's going through some nail pressure today. I need to be there for her. <laughs> Since when do you do anything for your mom? Yeah, you said all she cared about was the wedding. I said that? Ellie, we are a team. We have to do the hut together. Please don't give up. Adam! <laughs> nice of you to join us. De nada. Hey, what's up? Uh, what? What? Did you just say, hey, sup? I said, sup. Oh, <laughs> sup. Hey, Adam. Do you want to be lab partners? I read the textbook last summer. For fun. Sorry, I already have a partner. <laughs> Class, no pop quiz today. Yes. yes. The frogs are here. We're doing dissections. Oh, yes. Why do we have to dissect today? Because I'll be darned if my car smells like hot frog again. I like your hair. You do? Yeah, I can finally see your face. Thank you. Pick up your scalpels. It's so sad. Gretchen, your frog lived a long and happy life filled with triumphs. Hey, Ellie, I remember last month just looking at the starfish made you sick. Do you need a bucket? <laughs> <laughs> no, Savannah. Today I'm feeling pretty comfortable with a knife. Very good, Miss Blake. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm Ace and All Anatomy, a master of dissection, an expert chef who wields an expert knife. But still, I sense a gremlin in this system of perfection. There clearly are still mysteries to life. It's kingdom, phylum, class, and then it's order, family, genus. It all comes back to me like child's play. Uh, then he leans over my shoulder there in all his long and leanness and cuts my hard-earned knowledge clean away. I try to keep a focused mind and steady hand. Keep focused, ooh, keep steady. But the rhythm of my heart is like a country western band. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ellie, check it! Whoa, man! He's a nerd and an articulate, a specimen of truant. And though we're both 16, he's much too young. Much too young. My amygdala is fully formed, my frontal lobe is fluent, and pheromones go butting with my tongue! That's totes amaze, I'm way impressed, like sweet technique. Holy cow! I'm like totally. Yes. 
to make a dead frog dance. I never knew that Ellie Blake was such a science whiz. She's smart, of course, so it makes sense. But something's up with her today. I don't know what it is. She's like a fire. She's so So there's no way we can... No. Well, you can just make another one. Or don't. Either way, no big deal. We'll, ju we'll just skip the cake. No cake, bam, problem solved. That's not how you solve a problem. I was going to stay at the hotel, but I thought you might need me here. You want to make a wedding cake? <laughs> Very funny, like you'd let me. <laughs> Katie. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Who are you? Oh, you remember Pastor Bruno? From the wedding workshop weekend? Wedding workshop? Wow. I see you, Catherine. I understand the plan that they'll have the wedding outside your backyard. Or you could have it in a church like normal people. It's traditional to have the prayer, but I'll tell you what, I know things a little differently. <laughs> You go satanic? No, I asked a couple this morning they first met. I love that. How'd you first meet? Okay, so I show up first day on the job. Oh, he was designing our kitchen cabinets. Katie's on the stove working on something, and I say, wow, that smells great. Only thing I know how to make are seven layer bars. Tell him what you said next. No, you tell him. <laughs> it's funny when you say it. Nope, seriously you. Come on, she said. I said. Seven layer layers bars don't, don't actually count, count as cooking. cooking. She I love seven, seven layer, layer bars. bars. Good story. And the two were in your own battles? No. They're not done? No. Katie, I know how important it is for you to get all the details perfect, but the vows are important to me. I want to go up there in front of everyone we know and love tomorrow and speak words that come from us. Why do I read you I got so far? Oh, no, 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 that's okay. I'm not a man of many words and none that can convey exactly how I felt when I first saw your face that day. Oh, that's so nice. I'm not a man who makes speech or flouts a fancy rhyme. So all that I can say is I will love you for all time. Oh, that was so good! Cause I feel somehow I know you Like I've known no one before But still I know there's more I'm not a man who writes a book That gift, it isn't mine For you, I write a thousand books my heart in every line and every book would tell of you of what our life will be and through it all you'd stay a stunning mystery to me cause I feel somehow I know you like I've known no one before for all that I know of you there always will be more Cause love is in the knowing And the wishing that you do And Catherine My Catherine I love you
think you sat on some gum. Ugh. Great. What? What is that? What, what do you see right here? A tattoo of, I think, a dandelion? Cute. Why? Why would I do this? I have a tattoo on my underage backside. Busted, you're busted. I knew somehow that you could never truthfully be trusted. A tattoo, what were you thinking? Perfect skin is not for inking. I won't have you be the star of Girls Gone Wild. Oh, now you're busted, busted, my child. We are officially 55 minutes behind the master schedule. We still need to prep the salads, marinate the fish, start yeah, wrapping the Yeah, this all hurts in. my head. Do you need your, you know? Yeah. Where is my, you know? Top shelf, Earl Grey tin. These are cigarettes! I smoke? Tori, throw these away, enabler! Ah, that's why my mouth tastes like carpet! Busted, you're busted. I'm shocked my world is rotten. I'm a little bit disgusted. And it's not like it's no biggie. Every time you sneak a ciggy, you are setting off a tiny cancer bomb. Mom. And what else are you hiding that you never thought I'd see? Principal and me, these bills are overdue. Throw them in the trash. These books are overdue. A blatant waste of cash. And here, a secret spot. Aha, uh -huh, I found your stash. <laughs> this is so not organic. Busted, you're busted. Your hose now I've exposed you. You are through, you're done and dusted. This is sketchy and it's stinky. Although thank you for the Twinkie. Cause we all need some cream filling now and then. Although you're busted, busted again. Mom, seriously, calm down. Your secret munchies. So where'd you hide the bong? Mom, I don't do drugs. I eat Cheetos in my bed because they come with me. I thought this was a scrunchie. Turns out it was a thong. Mom, get that out of your hair. I found your secret stash. Candy corn, Mom, late. It should be available year round. I checked your browser cache. Fox News for shame. Just looking for the truth, Mom. You're too pagey. Share. And dishonesty can hurt, and lies we can't accept. But the biggest thing I learned, snooping while you slept, is that moms and dads and kids, some secrets should be kept. But now you're busted, 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 busted. busted. And our shining reputation has been rusted. You're cheeky. actually not half bad. The journal that I gave her in the family with her dad. All these secrets that she keeps. All these things I wish I'd known. And some I'm glad I know now. But some should stay.
mom. Ellie Blake, Catherine Blake. Ellie's mom? Yeah, sandwich lady. I'm sure she's really happy that you like them. I, Ellie must think really highly of you. Oh man, your sandwiches are the best thing I've ever tasted. Ellie's a lucky girl. Yeah. Hello! Dr. Aaron. Hey. How we met? Yeah, no, I just know you by reputation. He's the school counselor. Yes, I know, I go here. Right. Catherine Blake getting married tomorrow, so much to do, so I'm thinking we keep this short. This is Miss Luganbill, teaches literature. Scarlet Letter, great read, real page turner. Senior O'Brien, our Spanish teacher. Buenos tardes. I have moved over Ellie's test scores. Yeah, she never tested well. Because I don't study. Or the tests are too hard. Agree to disagree. I've also seen condo kind of reports. I think Ellie's a pretty great kid. I could do better. She's been absent from my class 17 times this year. What? What? <laughs> no, she hasn't. Have I? Look at her play the innocent. Ellie, how do you feel about what Senior Irvine just said? Shocked? And angry? Angry at myself? Angry, yes. The adaptive behavior scale, the Ellen Buck assessment, and the Beck anxiety inventory. All these tests tell me angry. I don't think Those tests are stupid. Miss Blake, if Ellie continues to her classes like a lost face of Faye, she may not graduate from school. Great! That's just great. Sometimes I have to role play. Ellie, you be your mother. <laughs> Catherine, you be Ellie. Let's talk. No. no! I can tell you what's wrong. I infantilize my daughter. I'm controlling, I'm a pill. I micro, micro manage. I'm all up in her grill. It's called parenting. I demand that she be perfect. All that pressure, all that fuss. I'm a parenting disaster. Don't you think so? Let's discuss. Forgive my darling mother and forget each thing she said. Put the blame where it belongs now, squarely on my head. I'm reckless and I'm feckless. I go and get tattoos! I think it's called a tramp stamp. I can show you if you No, 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 no! At least she doesn't smoke like me! I smoke! It's a single parent family. See, both start filled with rage. Her development arrested at the pre pre verbal stage. Or it could be ADHD, AD, or STDs. I suggested try Ritalin and yoga and soy cheese. Soy cheese? This is asinine. She's functionally unpunctual. She's ragged and she's rude. Excuse me, es mi hija, so perder la attitude. She's intelligent. You hear that? But I'm focused, barely there. I think she smokes the ganja. She does not. I don't. I swear. She's wasting her potential just the same. It's not her fault that she's too bright to take. But somebody has got to take, somebody has got to take, somebody has got to take the... Enough with all the blaming and the shaming, no you hush. The arm lying and the cycle blabbing mush. I'm a teacher, I should reach her. So the failure here is mine. She's bright and she's articulate. Her heart and mine are fine And all this finger pointing this crusade No one thought to check her file To see she struggled for a while Since the seventh grade Seventh. The year Dad passed away Just say died He died Oh honey, I've been thoughtless and for years I never thought your anger stood for tears. It's clear to me I have to take 
listen, do we have to do this now? I'd rather not discuss it anyhow. It's high school counselor nonsense all the same. Cause nobody has got to take the blame. You don't have to talk about it. Let's wrap this up. I appreciate all the feedback. From now on, I'm going to be extra good. Your class sounds really boring. <laughs> but somebody has got to take the Oh, can it, Karen? Save your retirement. days ditching school? I thought we were having a moment. The moment is over! Honey, we all have responsibilities in this world. Skipping class is not okay. And when you get back in this body, you're grounded. Well, when you get back in this body, your pants are gonna be tighter because I had two pieces of extra gluten toast. <laughs> Give me the car keys. Blake, Jim, now! Oh, I, uh, what? You are due in gym class? You have responsibilities in this world. Skipping class is not okay. I'm waiting on you, Blake. I don't like waiting. You go to class. I'll go get the thing. See you at home. Shopping with my mom. Shopping with my mom. Going into stores, stores with fancy doors and fancy floors. Shopping with my mom. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Can you please shut up for five minutes? Out of business. Out of business. What's the matter? So many things. I stupidly sold an hourglass to this store, and now it's closed forever, so I'm stuck forever. There's an hourglass in the boggle set. Yeah, I need that one. If you're interested in purchasing any of my merchandise, I have distributed the remaining inventory. Remaining inventory to other antique stores throughout Chicago. You could go to another store and get it. Yeah, there are a million antique stores in this city. There's no way I could get to all of them before tomorrow. Quit complaining and go hunt for it, Toots. Go hunt for it. Fletcher, that's it. We need to get the hourglass on the list for the hunt and then everyone will be searching for it. I got this. I got this. I know what to do, we'll make it a clue. I got this. The wow! master can relieve this disaster for sure. He'll bend a few rules, then half of the school will hunt for the glass and save my <gasps> But I got this, let's hit the gas. Come on, we gotta call your sister. Some All right. Today. You will do the Myers Fitness Challenge. You don't pass my challenge, you don't graduate. Get ready, all you losers. You TV dinner winners and snack pack snoozers. Best be on alert. No exceptions or excuses. You stomach aker fakers, no, I don't buy your ruses. Time to feel the hurt. Get the other hourglass on the list for the hunt. Um, okay. Blake, no devices in classes. Everybody drop and give me 20 push-ups because Ellie Blake decided to bring her phone into gym class. Let's go, let's go. Watch your back, better watch your back. Always someone moving faster. Hit the floor, you tail. PE is pass or fail, and I'm no hack. So hit the floor, grab the ropes, and watch your back. Uh, Savannah, Savannah, hey. <laughs> I was thinking maybe you and me could be on a team for the hunt. Be on a team. With you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, to be honest, I don't really care about the points. I just need something on the list, and you want to win, so team up. Savannah and Ellie together. Soup nutritious food for thought. Elle, tell us what you're doing. Say you have a plan. You're set to do the hunt now. You couldn't, now you can. And now you ask Savannah to be partners. L for real. What's the truth? What's the plan? What's your deal? Girls, I can explain. Don't bother. If you can talk, Blake, you're not going fast enough. Watch your back. another clue. That'd be cheating. That's ridiculous. I ain't no DJ Ellie. I don't take requests. The hunt I hold it sacred. A bond I won't transgress. For Pete's sake, it's a lark at most. A stupid childish game. So you say, it's my thing all the same. Adam, wait! Ugh. In my day, I remember that our biz ed education was delightful. But this is only pain. This is insane. The kids are so unfriendly, so unfeeling, so unhelpful, and so spiteful. And all my muscles hurt. This virus brings the hurt. The lesson that you learn is worth a burn. Ooh. Cause life is hard, and that's a fact. Ooh. That's a fact. so cool when you and Mike are married. Are you kidding? No. Do you even think about Dad at all? I don't remember him very much. Yeah, well, trust me, Mike isn't Dad. I'd say, old chap, are we gonna pick up Ellie right about now? No, she's meeting us at home. No. Nah. What? You wish you were here? Yeah, she's awesome. Awesome how? She's just cool. She shows me how to do cool things. When? Once, there was this kid, Glenn, who was being mean to me. So she showed me how to fill hot, wa uh, hot water into water balloons. And then we waited till he walked by. And then we creamed it. <laughs> so cool. If you think she's so cool, why are you always sticking puppets in her face? Mm. I gotta work on my heckler's comebacks. Your heckler comebacks? It's for my act when I go to Hollywood. Fletcher, you are not taking those puppets to Hollywood. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, he's not. You said my jokes were funny. Well, they're not. You said my puppets were creative. You said puppeteers make lots of money. <laughs> yeah, I lied. 
Nuh uh, parents don't lie. Yeah, they do. Parents lie, it's sad but true. Mine lie to me, yours lies to you. I lie to you. Nuh uh, about what? Where do I start? We say there's no monster there under your bed, but who knows, it's not like we search. And no one likes broccoli, we're all bad at flossing, and everyone's sleeping in church. And Buck the dog's not at a farm, Buck is dead. And mom's getting married without our consent. And Santa Claus, just forget what I said. No, Santa's the shiz, and Santa knows just how it is. Oh, parents lie because they can. So learn the truth, my bright young man. They lie with words, they lie with hugs. Parents lie. They lie like rugs. And parents will tell you you're great and special and stuff when clearly you're not. They'll say that one day you'll feel normal, but that's not enough. It's not by a lot. They'll hold you and tell you they love and they care, but they lie when they tell you they'll always be there. I know it's upsetting, but life isn't fair. And parents die, they tell you they won't, but they lie, oh, parents lie. It's hard to hear, it's hard to say, it's true I fear, it's fine to cry, it's sad I know, but parents lie. Yeah, parents lie. So come on, here we are. Let's go. Fletch. I'm just telling you what I wish someone had told me. Who cares? I do. I work for you because we care about the napkins. What's wrong with you today? I'm going inside to plate the salads. And then, and then I quit. Let's walk in place for the ceremony. Perfect timing, 
you guys. Ellie can go in the hut now. She can go. Off you go. Ellie, we have to talk. Today was not okay. What happened? She alienated Adam. She kissed up to Savannah. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, yeah, she did. We came to tell you in person we're doing the hunt without you. Hannah, we wish it could be different. Wait, wait, let, let's talk about this, you guys! My best friends hate me. What did you do? Nothing, a honey, girls fight. This will all blow over. Did you even get the hourglass on the list? Katie, you have to tell me if we have a signed C. Gah! Back off, Hansy! Hey, Mom, turn down the volume. Let's not argue tonight. Okay, don't talk to her like that. You were totally patronizing. Babe, are you okay? Actually, no, I'm not. I've been rethinking this whole wedding thing. All of it. Really? After every... You know what? Never mind. Mike! Mike, she didn't mean that! You did that on purpose. You messed up my life on purpose. You are so irresponsible! Just one day, I did my best. A disaster, but I faced it. One short day, just one giant day, and test, I had and thought you like might you have were aced it. I tried to get the just hour class, the treasure day, that you missed, day, and you couldn't even figure out how to get it on the list. The no wedding is today, and these guests won't go and away. On the face for just one stupid, lovely, crappy, thrilling, stupid. I found the snow in my truck. I don't want to be where I'm not wanted. Have a great wedding, love, Fletcher. Everyone is freaking out because Fletcher is missing. The wedding guests are all out searching and Grandma was offering me advice and mom called the police. And everyone keeps asking me questions. And I don't know the right answers. I was ready to be grown up, just waiting for the day. And now I am, I'm freaking. Does mommy feel this way? See, they think that I have answers. They look at me to guide. They see this old, old woman, but there's a little girl inside. Catherine, you're overreacting. Kids ran away. I ran away all the time. Yeah, well, feel free to run away now. Sorry, I'm not myself today. I'm in a funny way. I'm not the thing they think they see. This alpha mommy, she's not me. They want a woman I can't be. And words that I can't say. Woman, I thought I was. I'm not myself today. Tori, we need to pay more flyers. Mike, where are the police? Hell, they're on their way. I'm sure he's fine. We've got this, sweetheart. Uh -huh. I had no idea a woman could feel so darn dismissed. They smiley call me sweetheart. Does Ellie feel like this? See, if only they would listen, I could get this search on track. But when, and but when, just think I'm talking back. I'm not myself tonight, and more than me's not right. Cause Fletcher's lost and so am I. It's not that often, by the by, I wish I were a six foot guy. But I want to win this fight. Oh. 
tonight. Run away, I would hunt him down and kill him. Oh man, what a thing to say. If I had a kid and the kid ran away, I would find him, I would hold him, and then I'd kill him. What a day. Even with all of this messed up between us, I thought I would do better. I thought I'd know the way. I mean, even as you, I'm a mess of a person, can't get my crap together. I'm also a mess, I say. I'm not myself today. I'm not myself today. I'm not Happy hunting. Hey, little man. Hey. Do you go to Pinewood Falls? Yeah. yeah. Do you know an Ellie Blake? <laughs> yeah, Ellie Blake? Yeah, Ellie Blake. She hates me. No way. Why? She calls me a weirdo. That's nothing. You know, my older brother, he used to call me weird when he was nice to me, as a compliment. Where are you headed? Hollywood. All by yourself? Me and Presto. Isn't your family missing you right now, little dude? I think you're wrong. Let me tell you what. My older brother he used to be really mean to me. Did he chase you out of his room? Almost every day. But, you know, now he's off at college, I actually kind of miss him. I bet your family's missing you right now. So you think I could take you home? Katie, the police are here. Finally, I have photos. Um, here's a school picture. His hair is longer now. You should put out an APB. Honey, I need to talk to your mom. How tall is your son? Uh, about gay high. Uh, how old is he? Nine. Ten. Ten. Uh, what was he wearing last when you saw him? A shirt, pants, brown corduroy pants, gray Muppets t-shirt, black Velcro corrective shoes. Corrective shoes. Uh, does he get along with everyone in his life? <laughs> he and his sister fight sometimes. He can be very annoying. Your son's annoying. What? Don't write that down. Um. Has he experienced any emotional trauma recently? Emotional trauma? Fletcher was his regular happy self today. Uh, except I did hurt him. You hurt him? You hurt him? You hurt him? Today in the car. We may need backup. No! No, 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 no! I didn't physically hurt him! I hurt his feelings! It was an accident. Of course it was an accident! My mother loves Fletcher! She spoils him rotten. Uh-huh. And that ever make you mad? Uh, of course not! Everyone loves Fletcher! I love Fletcher! You seem mad. You think I'm mad? Yeah. Ellie... She thinks I'm mad! You two! You need to find Fletcher!
sit down for a spell He's probably just lost or else down in a well He took the wrong bus or the wrong stranger's car Abducted by aliens Drunk at a bar There was that one kid who was carving from limb They say that his sister done did it to him Resentful and jealous or so the mom said The kid is a pain Fletcher, thank God! We've been going crazy! We love you! I'm so glad you're okay. Adam! Hey. Adam? What are you doing here? Uh, he brought me home. I'm hungry. I could eat. Come on, I'll cook everyone something. See ya, Elle. Oh, uh, uh huh. Good luck with the marriage thing. Can't say it worked out for me. Thank you for bringing Fletcher home. He's a sweet dude. Hey, at school today, did Ellie say anything at all weird? You can tell me. Yeah. Knew it. We had this stupid fight about this hourglass. Oh, Adam, about the hourglass? I broke one this morning. Ellie was just trying to help. I think she likes you. Then again, everyone likes you, but you should know that she likes you. Never mind. Well, I think I like Ellie too. You do? This is kind of weird to talk about this with you. Totally. Would it be cool if I asked her out? That would be fine. Cool. Oh, and Adam, about the hourglass? <laughs> if you do put it on the list for the hunt, it would be worth a lot of sandwiches to me. Yeah! Oh, hey, is Fletcher okay? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Mom, what's the matter? I'm a terrible mother. I was so focused on getting the perfect wedding for Weddings Magazine. Fletcher ran away. I, I didn't get the hourglass on the list. I, I messed up. Okay. Hey, is Fletcher okay? We heard he was missing. It was on the police radio. W why do you have a police radio? It was on the list for the hunt. Oh. <laughs> Fletcher's home now. Oh, good. The, how's the hunt going? Terrible. We need Ellie. Ow. Well, we do. You guys, I put Ellie under a lot of pressure today, so if she acted like a tool, and I'm pretty sure she did, it was my fault. You guys are all best friends. Can she please be back on the team? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, no. <laughs> Look, a new clue. An oversized hourglass filled with pink sand. You did it! You have to go! Oh, uh, no. W why not? Your life and your peer group are both very stressful and it's crazy. You go. Yeah, I would love to go. I've been dying to do the hunt, but it would be totally insane to have a mom do it. So please, can you dig down deep and do this one thing for me? Okay. Wait. I missed everything up today. What should I do? You'll figure it out. I trust you. Let's go! We have to find some of the easier Let's things. Let's focus on the okay. Have fun, you guys! I'll just be here.
Hey hunters, it's List Master. Now I've got you on the run. Gotta give it all you got. And don't stop running till it's done. Found the last one, I've got more. Each tougher than before. And you know I'm keeping score, so I'll fall in. You'll know just where you're going, kids. Never where you Butterfaces. Look, take a roof ride on the L around the loop. A roof ride, as in on top of the L? That sounds very unsafe. We're doing it anyway, aren't we? Yeah. Hey, hunters, yeah. Yes, master, yeah. And now if you're falling behind, take a breath and look inside. You never know what you might find. When this highway hits a curve, find the courage, find the nerve to get what you deserve and then fight on. You only know a place for real once you've been and gone. This is a catastrophe. No, look, Fletcher's here. He's fine. Not your son, your wedding. The rehearsal dinner didn't happen. I saw your assistant quit. Tori. I wasn't at my best today. I mean, maybe not quit. I wish I could quit you. I need to be candid. This wedding is simply not Weddings Magazine cover story material. You don't even have a cake anymore. Seven layer bars. You are kidding. I was just about to say that, but we're gonna make seven layer bars. What? Really? Can I make them too? No. Yes. Really? Really? Wanna put on an apron? I love seven layer bars. Go we never thought you'd go. Go, go play to land. Where the thing you have to find might be found and begin. Grave robbing at Graceland Cemetery. Extra points for a wreath. That's a bad idea. We're not doing anything illegal, are we? <laughs> go where you never thought you'd go. go. Not the being, but becoming. What you are, you'll never be. Not the winning, but the wishing. Wishes end when you have one. Not the ending, but beginning. And we've only just begun. We can't forget about the hourglass. We're catching up. <laughs> Boyfriend. This has been the best day 
ever. Really? It's not the finding, it's the learning. Once you learn, you'll never know. It's not the having, but the finding. Once you find it, let it go. Jump in the fountain and take a selfie, no way. I'm not showing you my body. I look like a stick figure. I don't take selfies without filters. Whoa, whoa, guys, guys, guys. Your bodies, our bodies are beautiful. We are all perfect. Do not squander this moment in your lives being ashamed of yourselves and how you look. Because this, this is as good as it gets. We are going to take a selfie in that fountain and you are going to look at that photo and love yourselves. Hey hunters oh, from Yapolis oh, Master, oh, is it feeling like you're oh, home? Oh, if the night is getting oh, older, oh, then it's time for something new. You get here in back I love myself! If you're all up in your head, about all the clues you read, then find your instead, cause that's the goal, yeah. there is no hidden mystery, yeah. like the human summer and the pond was alive with the music and color of life. Dragonflies danced to and fro. Yeah, maybe it wasn't the best idea to give him brown sugar out of the box. <laughs> Mike, I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology for today. Yeah, I was warned. I mean, you did say if you carried our Wayne, you'd be a crazy person for that. I don't know how crazy, but... I want to apologize for Ellie, too. For Ellie? She's a pain. She's not very nice to you. Not to sound too out of school, but Ellie can be mad. It's OK. It is? She lost her dad. I could never replace him. And I wouldn't try. I need Ellie to get to know me on her terms. I love her. and. If she's going to be upset with me, I can take it. She's not upset with you. Sometimes she's just angry. She misses her dad. I think Ellie's afraid she's going to forget him. Nobody needs to forget him, her or you. Are we OK? Yeah. We're good. Okay, I'm going to go iron my shirt. <laughs> Listen to me, little sleeping monster. You there with the sugar-crusted face. I understand the urge to run away, kid, but stay a while and you might like the face. 
Someday you'll be 16 and awkward and too old for the puppets, but still odd. And you may feel alone or even angry, like life's a joke and grown-ups are a fraud. But kid, I know life's hard. But after all of this and everything, I can tell you what I know. After I promise you'll get through And mom and Mike, you'll cut some slack Cause both of them have got your back Whatever crap may come our way And after all of this and everything Kid, we'll be okay feel like mommy doesn't love you and you just feel just angry every day and mad at dad because he left you and angry at yourself to feel that way but listen when I say After all of this and everything, you'll learn to let it go, and know this family will get through. And after all of this and everything, Fletcher, I love you. Oh crap. <laughs> After all of this and everything, I have to face that too. But yeah, I love you, kid. I do. Espresso in under four minutes. You're really scaring me. Percent, go, go, go! Uh, check. Bears ball. Check. Um, puck from Blackhawks, White Sox, Sox. Uh, check and check, yes. Tyler Savannah for the lead. Oh, yes. But, but we still need the hourglass. Ellie, we have checked every second hand store in the city. I do not think we are finding that hourglass. What time is it? Mrs. Time. <laughs> Mrs. Time. Is the I'm so tired. <laughs> of course, the hourglass was sold to a second-hand watch shop. Mrs. Time, open up! You got customers out here. It's very early. <laughs> she tells time. Listen, I know it's sudden, but I need to buy that hourglass. Ellie, we can't buy clues. Not buy, borrow. I'll bring it back. No. Please. No. Listen. I know how hard it is to run a business. I know what it's like to work a 60-hour week only for your profits to get cut in half by a tax bill for the quarter. From one small business owner to another, this favor matters. Please let us borrow it. Okay, but it's just a loan. Yes. <laughs> She's a ninja. I want that hourglass. Too late. My father is an Ottoman. If I don't get that hourglass now, he can call the IRS to audit your books for the next five years. Sorry, girls, business. What? That's not fair. So gross, and at the end of the day, you are who you are. Savannah, we got here first. Ugh. Get it back. Little girl, why don't you call your mommy for a ride back home? My mommy wants me to stay. Let's it go. <laughs> What is this feeling that I'm feeling? Like I've shot right through the ceiling. Is it only the caffeine and the sugar and the pizza? Dear me, 
I had three slices of that pizza. Our car's a feeling that I'm feeling like I'm losing it, but dealing. It's alarming, but appealing, and somehow healing. <laughs> How long has it been since this old heart has skipped a beat? How long have I kept an even keel? How hard have I worked to keep our lives so calm and neat? And how good does this freaking chaos feel? Though I don't have the first idea what else may be in store, I know I won't be frightened anymore. No more fear, no more fright. I go bold or I go home. It starts tonight. Why don't you do what losers do and just lose? Savannah, right now you have the chance to become a better person. This is a personal growth opportunity. Suck it. Hold on, have I taught my daughter to be cautious at all costs? Have I made her somehow be afraid? Have I held too tightly after all we both have lost? And how do I clean up this mess I've made? Cause clearly I can't promise things will all turn out okay. But here's the most important thing I'll say. No more fear, no more dread. No more dwelling on the danger. We'll dare to live instead. No more sadness, not one tear. We'll be tough and tough together. No more fear. I can't stand to look at you. Your face is repulsive. Uh, ow! My daughter is perfect! Yeah! What? No more shyness or embarrassment. No diffidence, no doubt. Not self-consciousness and anxiousness. Just throw that stuff right out. Cause I thought I taught you manners. But I may have made you meek. And a girl. Be the first to cheer. No more waiting, no more hiding. Are we clear? No more fear. We won't win it all. No more Tell Mike we'll start when we start. Just one day till Mike's my dad, and I'm not the only boy in the family. Wow. wow. I, I look, look beautiful. beautiful. Um, <clears throat> we won. You won? Kevin, <laughs> let's get this party started. Oh, Ellie, sweetheart, what are you wearing? I'll be right back. Are you nervous? I never thought I'd be in a wedding dress so soon. I remember when Tom gave you that hourglass. He loved you very much. And Mike loves you very much. And if he loves you just a fraction of how much I love you, you're gonna be all right. Now go marry that very patient man. <laughs> and put on a little more blush, just a skosh. Hold on, honey, I'm almost ready. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. So, okay, I had, I was standing over here. I was standing over here. 
Mom was holding it. It's holding it with my right. Uh, right. Oh. Uh, okay. Ready? Really ready. <sighs> now we've got the magic glass. And the magic came to pass. And we learned so many things. Blah, 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 so many things. And, and I walked inside her shoes. I saw the world her way. In just one day. One day. In just one day. working? Uh, uh, try it again. In just one day. Mom, what is happening? This stupid magic doesn't know when to quit. I, I don't know what to do. Oh no. What if this means one day's now every day that we're stuck like this forever? If I had known, I never would have wished the way I did. I want to stay a kid and not a grumpy grown-up with these wrinkles and this stress. That pressure and that flutter, oh my gosh, it's such a mess. I didn't even get to see life flash before my eyes. It just went away. And now I'll fade today. Today it's every day. I will be here and protect you. I won't let this thing affect you. But we both know that we're screwed with that kind of attitude. There's this whole long life I'll never live, my college years and more. And all that I'll go through again that hurt so much before. I want to make things right again and tell you it's all fine. I just don't see a way. Day and every day. Mom! Mom, I can't do this! I can't get married! Of course you can't. Oh, what do I do? I'm so scared. I know, I know. We have to tell Mike. What? To just go up there and dump him? Like ripping off a mandate. A mile, I'm glad you're here with me. And Mike will surely see you're not the woman he once knew. And I can never be. There she is. Oh, you're still my sweet little girl. Dearly beloved. Meg, can you hold that thought? We need to talk. We'll talk afterwards. Go ahead. Dearly. No, even if he says go ahead, just don't. Katie, I know the past 24 hours have been crazy and that you're nervous. But I'm not ready to do this. Harsh! This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be because the truth is, you're a really great person. And I didn't want another really great person in our family because I was scared it would make me forget everything that came before. But the truth is, you do belong with us in this family. But I still can't go through with this, even though I love you. Wait. What? Uh, say that again. I love you. I, I love you. Mom. Oh my gosh. Honey. Honey. Honey, listen to me. Today and every day, I will be here, I will love you, I will put no one above you, cause I love your messy hair, I love your grouchy glare, the way you dress in all your mess, I love you through and through, whatever makes you happy, I want for you, I do, I'm telling you it's true, cause darling,
Tommy, I'm so sorry. Don't you ever, don't be sorry. If you thought I didn't love you. Oh, well, I know it and I love you. It took this day. It took this day. Cut us both some slack, cause I'm, I'm glad, glad to have, have me back. back. I know I won't be perfect, but I won't be such a witch. We'll both forgive each other, now won't that be a switch? We'll know each other, you and I, and secrets we'll both keep. Things we'll never say. That stupid, sweet cliche. Just one more quick display. never believe me, but it really happened. You can go ahead. I promise I won't stop you this time. I'll love you just this way, today and every day. Go. <laughs> it starts today. We made the cover of Weddings Magazine. My catering business quadrupled overnight. Today and every day. They love my seven layer bars. It starts today. His best man speech murdered. I got my license practice couples therapy. It starts today. I'm going to be on a fast track PhD program. Eat my dust. Today and every day. I got this. <laughs> you and me. I failed gym, which means summer school. I have summer school too. Maybe I could give you a ride. That would be cool. Gross! For a second there, it looked like you were gonna make out. Come on, I'm gonna make you a picture! You're in my act! I'm sorry. 